Using freeze-dried space food, the home cooks are starstruck. Hands up! Creating dishes for Canadian Woo. astronaut Chris Hadfield. Or as we say, lift up! Zoom! <laughs> Feeling really good. The eating experience is definitely out of this world, I promise. I want to connect taste my dish so bad. It's going to be such an honor. The first dish that we're going to call up was made by a home cook who doesn't shy away from taking risks. I think I had an amazing dish. I really need to get to the top six. Please bring your dish up. Matthew. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I have never been in the top three of a mystery box yet. I'm so excited. So I did a smoked salmon parfait with a walnut crumb, with a smoked salmon mousse, and candied salmon. Matthew, I'm really looking forward to tasting something that came from such simple ingredients that I live with for half a year. To me, this is just delicious. It's a surprise, both from taste and texture. Excellent. Thank you so much. I've eaten a lot of different food. I can tell you right now, I've never eaten anything that looks quite like this. Mm. You know what? This doesn't work. If you're narrow-minded. <laughs> it's creamy, it's delicate. I love the crunch. <laughs> this is so innovative, it's so creative, on so many different levels. Great job, thank you. The next home cook we like to call up made an impressive, savory dish. Bring up your dish. Veronica. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes. This is a corn and potato-based chicken congee. I also made a Japanese omelet with the dehydrated broccoli and carrots, as well as a fish floss crumble. I really want to be sure and get everything on the spoon here. I don't want to miss one thing. That's a wonderful mixture of everything. It immediately gives you a sense of being back on Earth, a sense of home. Thank you, Colonel. It was an honor cooking for you today. Thank you. Kanji is the ultimate Chinese comfort food. This dish does it for me. The meat. It's perfectly cooked, very moist. I love the corn. After 166 days in space, I would love to come home to one of these. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> the last dish we'd like to taste is sweet and whimsical. I think I've executed a perfect dish. It's quite innovative, and it tastes really great. Congratulations go to... I have heard Colonel Hadfield's lectures. I've read his book. I've seen him in concert. I want to hear my name so badly. Mary. Yeah, God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> Careful on the stairs. OK. <laughs> this is a strawberry raspberry creme brulee, but in a pie shell. So you can eat the whole thing. Even with dehydrated ingredients, you've been able to make the dish look spectacular. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful. The creme brulee portion is very, very light and creamy, but you're able to get the beautiful flavor of those strawberries in there. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> mm, that is unbelievably delicious. <laughs> no one would be able to connect that box of what looked like throwaway food <laughs> into this very rich and delicious dessert you just made. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a super pleasure. Thank you. Now we need to take a few moments to discuss. These are three top-notch dishes that could belong in any of our restaurants. Today is the day that I finally get my first mystery box win. Way beyond anything I could have imagined for creativity and quality. I have so much technique there, and the judges recognize that. I know what my vote is. Let's go tell them. All right. The competition is getting super tough. 
I would love an advantage right about now. Choosing a winner was extremely difficult, but we all gravitated towards somebody who blew us away with their creativity and innovation. Colonel Hatfield, would you please do the honors? The home cook who made the best dish tonight was... Matthew. Oh! I want people to start taking me more seriously in this competition. Matthew, you've done MasterChef Canada proud. Amazing job. These home cooks should watch out for me.